Okay, let's see how we would use Echolink using the smartphone app for Apple iPhones. I happen to be using an iPhone 6S for this demonstration and I'm going to do a screen capture of the sequence and you can get a feel for how Echolink works. First I must find the Echolink app on the screen. I'm going to tap it once now and you saw the brief message saying that I was logging in. Now that I'm logged in, I can jump around between my favorites list by touching the favorites mark at the bottom or by touching the stations icon at the center of the bottom. Um, I usually work from the favorites list, so I'm going to go back to the favorites list. And this happens to be the last one that I was connected to. If I tap in the upper left, I can see all of my favorites that are listed here. Um, you'll notice that some of these are entering uh, the K5CG-R is not logged in, so we're not even going to try that. Instead, we're going to try the Echolink test server, uh, which is a good way to, to see how well your signal is getting through. This is very similar to the Skype uh, uh, voice check in the Skype system. Let's go ahead and touch the bottom entry echo test. It brings up the echo test conference server. It shows its node number 9999. All we need to do is touch connect. Welcome to the echo link test server. This server records your transmissions and plays them back to help you adjust your transmitted and received audio. Please feel free to connect as often as you like. Okay, so now we see the transmit button on the lower left. I'm going to tap that. And as you can see, I'm now transmitting. This is a test of the Echolink uh, playback system. And I tap the screen again anywhere to stop the transmission. And as you can see, I'm now transmitting. This is a test of the Echolink uh, playback system. Okay, so that's a feel for uh, the playback. At this point in time, I'm going to tap the icon labeled end. And you see that we're now disconnected from this Echolink node. At this point, I could go back to my entire stations list or try another favorite. Again, it'll come back on the favorite you used last, so tapping in the upper left corner will access all of your favorites. Okay. Another one you might want to test would be second from the top, the news line. Uh, let's see what that sounds like. I'm going to tap connect. Welcome to the news line server. This week's news line report will begin in 10 seconds and pause periodically. Just waiting for it to come online. Amateur Radio Newsline, report number 2190 with a release date of Friday, October 18th, 2019 to follow in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The following is a QST. California hams respond to public safety power outages. Amateurs in Scotland explore microwave possibilities and... It's time for the School Club Roundup. All this and more as Amateur Radio Newsline, report number 2190, comes your way right now. Join okay, so I'm going to kill it now by tapping the end icon. And now we're disconnected from that conference server. I'm going to tap on stations again. And from here, I might want to go find a different conference server or a different user and uh, have a conversation using Echolink. What I usually do is I uh, close out the app by jumping back to the home screen or uh, double tapping and then closing the app this way. Okay, that's it.